ladies and gentlemen. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to apply synthetic division. Therefore, I want to determine does the factor x plus 3, or I'm sorry, does the binomial x plus 3 or x plus 1 divide into this polynomial? And if it divides evenly, then we're going to have a remainder of 0. So to do this, what I need to first do is this is what we're going to, uh, we're going to talk about this as setting a, a, as a factor compared to 0. But when setting up synthetic division, what I want to do is I first need to make sure that this is going to be a binomial with my variable to the first power. I can't use, do synthetic division when I'm uh, with higher order polynomials. So I'm going to have to have and make sure it's a bi uh, binomial, and it's also going to have to be to the first power. And then what I'll do is I'll set it equal to 0. Then I solve, and x equals negative 1. Therefore, that's what's going to be outside my synthetic division. Then I make a nice, big, long little L that I'm going to apply with my synthetic division. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the coefficient of each one of my terms from my dividend polynomial. Now it's very important that we make sure our polynomial is in descending order. And if we're missing a term, then we can replace it with 0. But here, I have my leading term with a degree of 4. And I can go 4, 3, 2, 1, and x to the 0, which would be right there as well. So I'm in good shape. Now I just need to write the coefficients. Remember, x to the 4th has a coefficient of 1. 3, 3, 4, 3. All right? So now the algorithm for uh, applying synthetic division is the first number we bring straight down, which is 1. Then we do 1, we multiply diagonally, add vertically. 1 times negative 1 is negative 1. 3 plus negative 1 is going to be a positive 2. 2 times negative 1 is negative 2. 3 plus negative 2 is going to be a positive 1. 1 times negative 1 is negative 1. 4 plus negative 1 is going to be a positive 3. 3 times negative 1 is going to be a negative 3. Then what I'll do is I'll now add 3 plus negative 3, which will give me 0. Now, since this has a remainder, I know that my binomial x plus 1 evenly divides into my polynomial. So therefore, if that's my remainder, I just kind of work backwards with remainder, constant, linear, quadratic, cubic. All right. Therefore, now I can write my resultant um, factor, which we'll call our quotient, as these are the coefficients and the constant for this polynomial. So it would be x cubed plus 2x squared plus x plus 3. All right. And what that means is this polynomial times my original polynomial, the x plus 1, is going to equal my resultant polynomial. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you find your quotient by using synthetic division. Thanks.